Hello and welcome to ACIT. My name is Rohit Pardasani and I am going to be your instructor for CCIE collaboration. I have four CCIEs, one in route switch, one in service provider, one in security and one in collaboration. I am also a Cisco certified systems instructor and I conduct trainings worldwide. Now for today's class, we would be looking at a really important topic which is important from perspective of the CCIE lab exam and also from production perspective. We would be looking at route patterns, your dial plan, we would be looking at translation pattern, called party transformation, calling party transformation. Let me quickly share my screen so that we can go ahead with the class. Well, previously we learned how to configure MGCP. So I have my publisher as my call agent and R1 as my gateway. Let's try and create some route patterns. Let's say if we had a requirement which said all HQ phones should be able to dial 911. However, do not create the route pattern 911. Use plus bang. Let's have a quick look at our partitions. So call routing, class of control, partitions. Well, I have two partitions which are pre-created, PT phones and PT route pattern. Let's look at the calling search spaces. So I go to call routing, class of control, calling search space. In my CSS phones, I have the partition phones. In my CSS TP, I have the partition route pattern. All my HQ phones have been pre-configured in the CSS phones. Let's have a quick look at that. So I go to device, phones, and let's look at any one phone. So Sam Hong. As you can see that my calling search page is indeed CSS phones. So at this point of time, all my HQ phones can dial any directory number which is in the partition phones. So let's start creating some route patterns. So I go to call routing, route hunt, route pattern. Since my requirement was to create just a single route pattern, which was plus bang, I should not create the 911 pattern. Let's create a plus bang. So backslash plus bang. Let's put this in the partition route pattern. And the gateway would be my MGCP gateway. Let's do a save. So I have a single route pattern plus bang. However, my phones would be dialing 911. They would not be dialing plus 911. So I need to create a translation pattern. Translation pattern always hits before the route pattern. So let's create one. So I go back to translation pattern, add new. So 911. It should be in the partition phone so that my phones have access to this translation pattern. Now my route pattern had a plus bang, which means I need to prefix 911 with plus. So to prefix 911, you would need to scroll down and in the call party transformation, just add plus. So what happens now is when the HQ phone dials 911, it hits the translation pattern which says add the prefix plus. Now I need my translation pattern to be able to dial or forward to the route pattern. My route pattern plus bang was in the partition RP. So I need to go back up and in my translation pattern, I would define the calling search space as CSS TP, which has access to the partition RP. Let's save this. Now the problem would be HQ phone dials 911, hits the translation pattern, prefixes plus, hits the route pattern and dials out through the MGCP gateway with the call number being plus. So let's do a quick debug on the gateway 
to see what call number we are receiving from the MGCP call agent. So debug ISDN Q931. So I dial 911 and as you can see that my calling party number is 2022 which needs to be rectified to usually a 10 digit number. Let's try and rectify the plan to national and the type to unknown. The call party number as you can see it's a plus 911. As you can see that this number is unallocated or unassigned number. Obviously the PSTN does not accept the plus 911. So we need to strip the plus. Now my route pattern directly points to my gateway which is the MGCP gateway R1. Let's go to the gateway and look for any option that helps me change my call information. Now if you scroll down at the gateway level we have an option under the call routing information outbound call. Here I can define my called party transformation CSS. By default, it uses the device pool called party transformation CSS. Now at this point of time, I have not created any device pool. So my gateway is in the default device pool. So let's do one thing. Let's, let's go and create a new partition, which only my gateway would have access to. So let's create one partition, PT called X form. Let's put this in a CSS. So CSS called X form. And let's call the partition PD called X form. So now that I have a partition created and I have a CSS created, let's go to my gateway and assign him the CSS for call party transformation. So let's select CSS called X form. Deselect the device pool and save. Now we need to create a call party transformation pattern. So go to call routing, transformation, transformation pattern, called party transformation. Let's add a new one and say if it matches backslash plus dot bang and this would be in the partition called X form you would strip the plus and change your call party information number type to unknown and the call party numbering plan to ISDN. Let's save this and try making a call from the HQ phone to 911. This point of time, my call should go to the PSTN and my call number should be correct. However, my calling number would still be the four digit and my calling party number type and numbering type would be incorrect. Let's quickly rectify that as well. Now you could rectify that by creating a calling party transformation pattern or you could go back to your translation pattern and modify your calling information there. Let's do it under the translation pattern. So I scroll back down and I have the calling party transformation. Let's give 408202XXX and the calling party number type as national and the calling party numbering plan as ISDN. Let's try making a call now. As you can see, the minute I call from my HQ phone, my calling party number type is national and my plan is ISDN. My calling number has been rectified and my call number is 911 and type is unknown and the plan is ISDN. So in short, my phones, when they dial 911, it hits the translation pattern. From the translation pattern, it prefixes plus and goes to the route pattern. From the route pattern, it goes to the gateway. From the gateway, it goes to the call party transformation because the gateway had the CSS. At the call party transformation, the plus is removed and it's forwarded to the PSTN. I hope this video has been informative to you and thank you for viewing.